first Sony of all, I didn't even re- I didn't even realize this was still on. Yeah, no, me either. <laughs> um, I know now. Earlier when it first premiered, like the first five or six seasons, I had watched because it was hugely, hugely popular back then. But it I, was. I, I, I mean, do you I, like Tyra I mean, Banks? She's okay. I know. I, I I I like her, but I also heard that she has her diva. She is a moments. bitch. She can be a yeah. bitch. Yes. Um. But um. The thing with that is that I, I'm not surprised because I mean, honestly, I I saw it coming because no one was really watching this show anymore. Yeah. Um. So, twenty two seasons is a long time to be on a show. That's um, like really I mean, eleven so years. I think they did twi- two is two a year, right? They did two um, I, th- I think it's longer than that because still, it premiered in May of yeah. 2003. 2003? Oh, so, well, yeah. something like that then. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i glad it's, you know, that it's been on the air for that long. But what, How do you think that that show, do you think that show, I mean, have we had any real models come out of that show? Yeah, there's been a few. I mean, not since, um, like, anybody you can one name? Really, really, there's one really, really <laughs> famous one right now, um, and I'm slipping her name right now, but she's the one that has, um, fuck, I can't remember the name of the disease. There's the skin oh, color Vitiligo. Disease. Yeah. Well, yeah, Vitiligo. Yeah, I know she's who she is. She's huge. Yeah, I know yeah, who she is. Her, she came from that show? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah you also have um, Eva Marcel. She's on there. She um, plays on... Uh, Born Again Virgin that comes on TV One, and she also is on House Husbands of Hollywood that comes on BET, uh-huh. and she does some other stuff too. So there's been um, a couple of success stories. Though. Yeah, there, there's there's been a few, and then you have um, what was the very first uh, winner? Uh, Adrian. Um, I can't think of her name. Oh, she doesn't count as a success story. <laughs> well, well, the she, one that married what? the the Partridge Family guy. Oh, yo, oh yeah. I forgot about her. Or, the, like, or the, the, no, the show. Yeah, the Brady Bunch. He, she married Christopher Brady. Christopher Brady. That's why he was on the show. Yeah, but yeah, that yeah. was his real name. But yeah. Oh there, yeah, but yeah. That, There's been a few. There's been a few um, that have. Okay. I think that show should have ended about well, two. Three, that four reminds years. me of uh, Project Runway. Do either of you watch that? I would think you would, Christian. I actually don't currently watch that show. Oh, okay. No. It just. I, I don't did. Watch I've, met, I've met many a many many a many a Project Runway designers. Me too. And I talked to Jack McEnroth. I did a whole interview with him about it, and he talked about how a lot of it was fake, um, mm-hmm. and people were often chosen towards the beginning of the season that they were going to have as the winner, and they kind of made it. Ha- you know, they kind of played it out. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised either. Oh, well, I was surprised. That's not true. I was surprised only because. I know I know it's television, and you need to kind of mold the story in some fashion. But you don't have to actually pick the winner, and you know what I mean. You can you can mold the story and still be, make it reality. Um, and I I just was really taken aback by that. I, I was disappointed by it, but I still watch the show because it's fun to watch, even though it's fake. <laughs> well, suppose they do the same thing for uh, Dancing with the Stars, allegedly. Oh, really? That, that they that they allegedly they you know pick the people that they. Want really win. want to win. I mean, sorry, let me take the back. Not Dance with the Stars, American Idol. That's what I meant. Oh, um, American Idol's that, over. Oh, thank that, God. Yeah, that they supposedly picked people that um, they already knew that who they were going to pick to win like when the season started. Hmm. So, yeah. Whatever. Whatevs. Uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I think, it, I don't know. That's the thing about reality TV, as they call it. You know, it's, it, I don't know what shows are real, which ones aren't. And I think that there's, I think most of them are somewhere in between. I don't think all of them are like completely fake and I don't think they're all completely real. I think most of them are somewhere in between. Like they create situations that they put the people in or the women on the shows or whatever show that show it is. And then they let that play out, but they guide, as I'm saying, they kind of guide where they want things to go. That's exactly what happens because Mona Scott young actually said um, when she was being interviewed on the breakfast club, yeah, um, because uh, Charlemagne, which is a co-host on the radio show, he was like, well, you know, everyone says the show is fake and yada, yada, yada. He was like, well, you know, we she was like, we create situations to where they may have to meet up with each other. And then we just let it unfold based on that. Yeah, that makes sense. But, um, you know, there'll be the she was like, oh, for example, you know, the producer wants you to meet up with this other person and film together based on an issue that you two may have. And then so they'll agree to meet up and then whatever plays out on camera just plays out on camera. Hmm. But yeah. um, so, I mean, yeah, there is there is a little bit of slight tweaking when and it i understand that because it's yeah. it's entertainment but yeah. uh i just think there's an there's there's a line you cross where it becomes completely a scripted show basically yeah. Yeah. speaking of reality tv yeah. um there is a show coming out here soon 
Yeah. Um, that's based in Dallas. Mm-hmm. And um, I know a couple of the gals on the show. Mm-hmm. And this past weekend, I was at an event. And I was doing my thing. And um, I happened to overhear one of the ladies that will be on the show introduce herself to somebody. Uh-huh. And say, oh, yeah, I'll be on a new reality show that'll be out on the Blank Network um, next year. Okay. She okay. introduced herself as that. Wow. That made me kind <laughs> of lose all respect for this human being at that point. But I thought, okay, that, imagine I, me that. Imagine me saying, hi, my name's Christian. I'm going to be on a new reality show that's going to come out on the Blank Network next year. But I thought, technically, I thought technically they couldn't say, I thought they were under confidentiality. Yeah. It, it's, it depends, but this is kind of known around town and various people that this has been going on. It's not a media source. It was a it was a private conversation, but still, don't you think that's tacky? Yes, yes. it's tacky. But most people who are going to choose to be and no offense if you want to be in a reality show, but most people who are going to be on a reality show have some sense of tackiness about them. I mean, cause listen, this is the how I see it. I, I my husband wants to be on a reality show. I'm like, I do not want to be on TV. Are you fucking kidding me? First of all, all the people who are on TV who are married get divorced. That's the first thing. That is so true. And secondly, I don't want everybody up in my business all the time. I'm a private person. I don't want people knowing all my shit all the time. Because you know when that shit happens, here come the bloggers. Yes. And not only us. that, every fucking skeleton in your closet, everybody you ever hated you, everybody who ever knew you for one minute or whatever is coming out of the woodwork talking about you. I I mean, I, I, for me, I've been on the receiving end of that to some small degree when I started my show years ago, and I had all this hatred coming at me. But, I mean, I, I don't want that. And so, for me, I think if you're going to be in a reality show, you have to be willing to give up a lot of privacy, obviously, mm-hmm. but also a certain sense of dignity, a certain sense mm-hmm. of privacy, and um, I just don't think it's a good thing for most people's lives. I just don't. And so, if you're going to be on there, I think most people who are on there are kind of tacky. Now, not every show is like that. I think there's some shows you can go on like i think competition shows are respectable to some degree but i think like just going on a reality show to be famous for being famous to me doesn't really do much for me that's just well let's see it, what, it, it also kind of depends well i was gonna say it depends on the network but that's not necessarily true no but I, it depends on those people i think it's chemistry yeah. you know all that shit um that matters most but um i, I don't know i think i just i i would not want to be in a reality show would you guys want to be in a reality show I wouldn't mind being a reality show. What kind of show would you want to be on? <laughs> Doing um, what? I, I mean, I'm pretty open. I mean, but if they want to put me in some situation where, you know, uh, you know, like where I have to end up being, you know, real hood and ratchet, then I mean, I can do that. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. But, I, I, I am not able. I know this may come as a surprise to a lot of people who listen to the show and listen, people who don't know me that well, but I am not able to be like all fake and like be like oh th- you know i'm I, i'm all th- p- pretending to be one thing and i'm something else and so for well, example no, no, i'm not i'm not saying that I'm, i would get on the reality show and be fake no i'm I saying mean, you I, just I, said I, you I would wouldn't. be myself no you just said you just said you wouldn't i'm saying i agree i wouldn't want to be on the oh. show if I, if I could be myself i'd have to be myself the whole time um and that's probably not that entertaining so <laughs> it wouldn't make much of a good show <laughs> but no producers will I find a way no but honestly when it comes to stuff like that producers will find a way they will find someone that you probably to pull have out your at least chemistry your with yeah. or someone that you have an issue with and create controversy based on that i mean that's see, just what producers do I, and i would be throwing down and throwing tables and hitting people and shit like that <laughs> and i just not pretty i don't want to look like that on tv i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> i just you know my girls club are real <laughs> but see but see that makes good television it makes good tv but it makes me look like a moron and i don't want that unless you pay me millions see, of dollars a year and they don't get you know paid what? shit I told myself, no, I know what with Bad Girls Club coming out, I always told myself if they had a male version of it, like Bad Boys Club or something like that, and they happened to cast me on some shit like that, I y'all would see the worst side of me. That's what I'm saying. Like, seriously. Because <laughs> like, I'm like, thinking about like, thing, like thinking like Atlanta or something. And so let's mm-hmm. say if I were a cast member in Atlanta or a woman or if they were all men or whatever, and I were on there and somebody like NeNe Leakes was on there, I like NeNe to some degree, okay? But that bitch got on my last <laughs> nerve and I would have fucking wrecked that bitch, okay? She pissed <laughs> me off. And so I'm, and it wasn't just her. And Kenya, I'm going to rip that. Oh my God, that yeah, bitch. I don't like Kenya. So my know. point is, is that 
that these people enrage me this much watching them on TV in person, I would be so fucking ratchet, as you put it. So no. <laughs> uh, so you would have been the one. You you and Kenya would have been all over the place. I would have been. I would have been forced to pull in her day. hair and shit like that. I would have been all. Yeah, I would have been. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, so you would have pulled a Porsche. Yeah, I would have pulled a Porsche. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, but I, I just I just think reality TV brings out the worst in most people, and that's because it is entertaining. It's like. Somebody actually said, I heard a quote a while ago, a long time ago, that it's basically the gladiators of our day. And so we get to see these people fight each other and the worst of people's lives all the time because for our entertainment and kill each other to some degree. And so I and think people it's, want that. too. I That's know crazy. that. And people, people crave it. Chasing I that. agree with you. I just think it's sad. <laughs> I just think I, it's I mean, sad. but I wouldn't mind doing reality TV. Just it would just have to be based on what it would be about. Yet I watch uh, or, it though, or, or the type of what they're trying to aim for. Right. Oh, speaking of reality TV, I watched a snippet of the Jacksons reality. How was that? Um, <laughs> it was it was okay. It kind of reminded me more of like a mini docu series type thing more than a reality show. Oh, okay. Like yeah. they were just talking about how they want to keep the legacy going and stuff like that. As soon as, as soon as yeah. they said that, all I lost interest. Like... <laughs> but um, so they want to be musicians. Then? Well, Probably. they they try to do different things. Some of them are entrepreneurs. Some of them want to be, you know, musicians. Some people, you know, some of them are just. You what know, does your majesty want to be? Socialite. I, I don't know. I, I didn't <laughs> even watch. I don't. I didn't watch long enough. I just wanted now. to say, your majesty again. <laughs> but um, I mean, they all have different goals. But their main thing is to keep the Jackson legacy going. I was like, oh, you lost me on that. Time to change the channel. Not interested. Um, and then also, I watched a. Uh, I actually watched an, an entire episode of Transcendence. It was that good. I like the show, but there's, there's, it kind of reminds me of RuPaul Drags Race meets <laughs> Atlanta Housewives. That sounds mm, okay. A mess. I can get that, well, that. To, well, to me, and to me, that's reminds me of because I mean. The first episode that I watched, it was good, but then I watched a snippet to the second one. They were just like, "Bitch, don't tell me what." To-. I said, "Oh, this ain't nothing but another version of Housewives." Just, That's all they are. That's all. They, they, they like, are. don't tell me what to do. I, you know, I'll speak. <laughs> the- and she's like, "Don't speak unless I'm a you're grown ass woman." Mm. And you know, they were like, "You know, don't speak unless you're spoken to." And bitch, don't tell me what don't to do. Don't come for me unless I come for you. <laughs> yeah, and that time, so, I mean, pretty much they were being nice and nasty. They and then they'll meet up and they'd be like, "Hey, girl," and then a few seconds later, they're like, "Bitch, please." <laughs> so it's like. I, I, it's but, just, no, can you imagine if we, in reality, in the real world, acted like these people on these shows all the time? Every time somebody pissed us off, talked bad about us, or you know, looked at us the wrong way, it's just always on, like Donkey Kong, all the time. I will say that they are beautiful women. I will say sure, that. Yeah. But as far as what path they're going now, as far as you know, the producers are trying to take this next type thing. Mm-hmm. It just reminds me of RuPaul's Drag Race meets. Housewives. That sounds a mess to me. And I, I, and I watched an episode. Um, and I, like I said, I would. Um, I watched it. Would I watch it again? No. Mm-hmm. But um, I at least I, you know, I tried to give it at least one full episode. Um, well, I, so we'll see what happens with the show. I, I'll, I'll, I don't know if I'm. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you guys recommended the other <laughs> show. I'm not watching that either. Then. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that was something. Well, that was something that Christian recommended. Oh, uh, that's that's true. I'll I'll I'll, I'll oh, check out Transcendence. Now you then. On me. <laughs> <laughs> but you did. You told you were talking about it. So he's I was right. like, I'll watch it. And I'll watch right. it. And it's right. an entertaining show. Uh, yeah. uh, Forbes, but it's, but it's right kind of ratchet though. Yes. Go ahead, Forbes. Before we leave for the night, mm-hmm. um, today it was announced that Caitlyn Jenner is going on a national speaking tour. Oh, is she coming to Dallas? She's not coming to Dallas. <laughs> but. I'm not surprised. Tickets start at $80. What? And they you lost me on they, that. <laughs> I ain't got to pay $80 to see her. Hold on. This is the kicker. Uh-huh. And the, the uh, orchestra seats are $550. Girl, please. What is she going to say uh, that we haven't already heard in I Am Kate? Girl, bye. Please. I don't think so. I just thought I'd let you guys know that um, those tickets will be on sale. So basically, you have to be Taylor Swift, who was recently named the world's highest paid musician, musician reportedly making $1 million a day to afford to go to see Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> okay. I would yeah, want to see selling Jenner. out. Listen to me. Freaking I would want to see. 50,000 people. Go on. Go ahead, sir. I, I would not want to see Caitlyn Jenner with tickets being 80 bucks. Why would I want to pay five? I wouldn't pay For... anything to see Caitlyn Jenner personally. 
It, yeah, it would have to be a free event. I would go the, see her if she were speaking somewhere for free. But otherwise, or, or maybe if it was twenty dollars or less. And basically, maybe. only out of curiosity, not because I'm just like all that enthralled by her. No, I, you know, whatever, bitch. Um, okay. Um, what? Do you, go ahead. Go ahead. One more thing you want to say? Go ahead. Christian. I didn't have anything. Oh, I thought you were about to say something. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was going to say. Oh, no. I know. But I know he was saying that Taylor Swift. Well, one of you said that Taylor I, Swift. Is no, I was just saying, if, of course, it makes sense that she makes a dollar of a million dollars a day. Mm-hmm.